Militarized aviation has been around since the beginning of human flight, and over that time there have been many aviation accidents. While military planes of past were more accident prone than the technological and mechanical powerhouses that are modern fighter jets, accidents do still happen. Accidents like fighter jets shooting themselves down. One of the first historically significant incidents of a plane shooting itself down was back in 1956. On the 21st of September, a U.S. Navy pilot named Thomas W. Attridge was flying a Grumman F-11 just offshore of Long Island, New York. He had been flying for roughly 20 miles and climbed to 20,000 feet to test fire the plane's 20 millimeter cannons. He began a dive in preparation for the test and fired the cannons at 13,000 feet after leveling off, letting off roughly 70 rounds over four seconds. Immediately after firing, he began an even steeper dive, engaging the afterburner. Once he reached 7,000 feet, he fired his cannons again, fully emptying his gun belts. After finishing off his rounds, the windshield of his aircraft immediately shattered due to an unidentified object. Attridge assumed a bird strike, but after getting his bearings and beginning to fly back to his airbase in Calverton, New York, he noticed that his right engine's intake lip had been sizably gashed. He fought the engine, but noticed he couldn't get more than 78% power to it. Pushing the throttle further caused the engine to rattle and make noise like a vacuum cleaning up heavy dirt. The Tiger suddenly dropped, slicing through a forest, hurtling 300 feet before coming to rest steadily. Surprisingly, Attridge survived the crash, but he broke his leg and three vertebrae on impact, and the plane was in a blaze. Attridge struggled with his gear and was able to free himself from the plane and a rescue helicopter picked him up for treatment. One thing was still a mystery though, why or how did this happen? An investigation into the incident revealed that the cockpit of the F-11 was not hit by a bird, but rather the rounds Attridge fired in his first burst. Because Attridge accelerated into a steep dive after firing, he unknowingly overtook his own bullets in the air, which had slowed significantly due to drag. Attridge was flying under the bullets when he leveled off and fired his second burst of rounds. After leveling off, Attridge eventually crossed paths with the trajectory of his first bullet's path. One round crashed through the windshield, another hit his engine intake, and a third bullet punctured the nose of the craft. The bullet that struck the engine became lodged inside, rattling around, breaking components the more Attridge flew and the harder he pushed his engine. Attridge eventually made a full recovery after shooting down his own plane and even returned to military aviation. So that's the story of the time a U.S. Navy fighter pilot shot his own plane down, crashed, and survived.